Okay, let's fry some chicken. First, we're gonna sharpen the Victor Inuts, Grant and Eggs, slicing knife. I'm gonna get some pots. And we're gonna start cutting the chicken. They're leg quarters, so we're gonna separate them into drumsticks and thighs. It's gonna be about eight of each. Be careful, because it's a sharp knife. Separate the drumsticks and the thighs. And a 10 pound pack is usually about eight, maybe nine of each one. The next we're gonna soak the thighs in Bulgarian style buttermilk. For a day or two, maybe three. I'm not certain, but I think the bacteria in the buttermilk keeps the chicken from spoiling. I put four thighs in a large, hefty slider bag. some buttermilk. Make sure it's covering everything. And you do it for the next four. And then I put the drumsticks in one large bag. And I add some teriyaki sauce some stems, pure cane syrup, some sriracha hot chili sauce.
enjoy some uh, Bulgarian buttermilk with some more coarse kosher salt and then uh, chase it with a shot of crystal hot sauce. cooking uh, the steady temperature winds up being about 280 degrees Fahrenheit maybe 250 which is fine use a paper plate and uh, I do two of the thighs at one time I've already got a big pot of uh, gold metal flour smell it and make sure it's not rotten. But uh, like, like I said, I've, I've let it marinate for two weeks and it doesn't go bad. I, I don't understand why, but I don't know, maybe it's the bacteria in the Bulgarian buttermilk. So I got rubbed sage, sprinkle that. Now, you notice I start them upside down, so the skin side right now is on the bottom. And then uh, ground white pepper, plenty of all the spices. And uh, I'm going to add a little ground nutmeg, I put nutmeg on everything. powder. Notice that all the spices are light, light color. And then uh, some Morton coarse kosher salt. Okay, then we'll turn it over. All the while the peanut oil is getting hot. Same thing, rub sage, ground white pepper, nutmeg, onion powder, and more coarse kosher salt. The sequence doesn't matter so much, but uh, it is important to put the rub sage on first because it's uh, dry and, and it needs to stick. So now I put the thighs in 
flower. Now I got that from Alton Brown. Uh, he says put the spices on first and then the flour. If you put the spices in the flour, it's gonna burn. And so that's pretty good. I'm not sure where I got the Bulgarian buttermilk, but not an original idea on my part. Except I like Bulgarian buttermilk. So, uh, the first two we're frying and then I'm preparing the next two. One of the unique things about this recipe is I only fry them three minutes on each side. And the reason for that is three minutes on each side produces a crisp outer crust, but it doesn't burn them. Now, what I do that's different, it took me quite a while to figure this out, is uh, fry it three minutes on each side, put it on a tray with a cookie cooler, and then bake it at 325 degrees for about an hour. This way, the fried chicken winds up being light golden brown. If you just fry it for like 10 or 20 minutes in the peanut oil, it will turn black. And I guarantee you, nobody can tell that this isn't completely, totally fried chicken. Now I got the bacon pan here coming up. Yeah, so that little buzzer, uh, that's three minutes. The second three minutes. start off with the skin side up when I'm frying and then uh, I flip it over and do the skin side. So, now you'll notice that it looks like fried chicken except uh, the, the only thing cooked on it is the outer skin. I mean, it's raw inside. And then I start the next two. Be careful when you put them in because if they slide off that little granny fork, that, you know, it'd be kind of a mess. Might even start a fire. Dangerous. But. I was going to show the temperature on the candy thermometer, but it doesn't come through on the video. And I always like to clean, keep everything clean. I like to clean kitchen. I got the oven heating up.
pretty much all you gotta do now is you can go uh, start cooking some rice. Make some gravy. Uh, gravy, I use a couple of patties of butter, whole salted butter. And then I use some flour left over from uh, dipping it. And then about two tablespoons.
cooking in, uh, I don't know, start and finish in about an hour and a half, something like that. I like to put some uh, whole salted butter on the rice. For a lot of people, you're obviously gonna cook more. Yeah, go get some of that uh, fabulous fried chicken. It's been baking for about an hour. Yeah, and now there, here you go. That's some fine eating. I'll tell you what. Yep. 